So you formed in Cape Town, South Africa, and now you live in Nashville. Yeah. Can you tell me why, how, and when you <laughs> went from the mother city to music city? <laughs> well, we, we uh, decided to move to the States kind of, uh, it was, we'd always wanted to move, move to the States, but we, we booked our tickets and just did it, and uh, it was kind of spontaneous, and we moved to L.A. first because we knew some people there. Um, but uh, eventually we moved to the East Coast just because we wanted to record and be on the East Coast to, to tour and stuff, you know, so. Um, Had you ever been to the States before? Or? Yeah, I've been, um, yeah, a few times. Um, my family, so I, got, I got some family here, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, came to visit my gran and stuff, you know. Right. Yeah. So you were in what, New York? Uh, Did we you say? No, we were in LA first. No, and then? And then we moved to Nashville. Oh, and yeah. then you moved to Nashville. Yeah, yeah. So, so was, it, was it just for the band, you know, to make it in yeah. the States? Yeah, it was a, like a silly dream, I guess, but it seems to be working out. <laughs> well, how, how is it in South Africa? I mean, is, do bands make, I don't know a lot about the scene yeah. there. Well, is it, it's not very big. Um, it's, that's kind of why, the reason why we came here, or okay. came to the States, is because um, it's, uh, the kind of music that we do is, you know, it's, there's not a very big market for it there, so we want to expand, and we thought the next thing to do is just be hit the, the mother of, of all touring city, uh, yeah. the countries, you know, so, yeah. yeah. Speaking of geography, I mean, one thing that struck me when listening to your album is, First of all, let me say that I don't know if there is a South African, specifically South African or specifically Cape Town sort of sound, but I mean, I can guess as to some of your influences based on your record and none of the ones I thought of are South African, really. Yeah. So I mean, is that, is that typical or do you guys specifically listen to a lot of music from the rest of the world? Uh. You want yeah. to answer that one? Yeah, yeah we, 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 uh, um, no, it's going to mine. we, uh, were introduced to overseas music by one radio station in South Africa that used to play, um, rock music from like 10 to 12, I think. Eh? Yeah, 10 to 12 every night. night. <laughs> and, um, so it was like our window to the world. <coughs> and, uh, at the time we, we heard bands like Nirvana and Silverchair and like Oasis and all these bands that were coming a little late to South Africa, but they were, we were just like totally inspired by what they, were, they sounded like. And, um, South African music's got, there's a couple of really good bands, um, but um, you know, just mostly British and American music, you know? Is, is this stuff being made in South Africa primarily? You know, like you said, when you heard Nirvana and Oasis, I mean, was that kind of stuff not popular there? Like, in terms of, were local bands playing that yeah. kind of music? Yeah, um, that, like, like uh, that, that kind of music, that grunge um, um, sound, like, it hits our show was a lot later than it did, you know? Oh. So it can, like, for some reason, we just got it, like, way after the fact. <laughs> yeah, you know? Okay, So, yeah. um, we thought it was really hip, and, and it, but <laughs> Turkey Band was had died, and then everyone moved on, and we th we thought it was like really hip. So, <laughs> well, well, I mean, at least some stuff never gets old. Yeah, exactly, music. and that yeah, that sort of I mean, Nirvana, and I guess. Uh, mm. you know. Sure, sure. So, for the music you make, who would you say are your biggest influences? Um. Well, you we, say personally or as a band? Yeah, I mean, as as a uh, personally. I think uh, we, we the first kind of bands that, that really inspired us to, to play music was like Oasis and The Verve, um, uh, Radiohead's obviously a big one. Um, see, like uh, Nirvana was a big one, like we talked, like we discussed. Uh, those the are the kind of bands that got us into the it. Police you know? a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah, like, but we're always discovering and trying to work out, you know, what's going on. <laughs> trying to work out, you know, what's new and what turns us on. Well, you guys are on tour, obviously. I mean, I'm assuming you get the, the chance to hear a lot of different types of bands. Is there anyone out there now that's really caught your ear? 
Um, uh, yeah, I actually haven't seen this band live, but The National, I really, I really love there. And they're actually becoming a, like a, an influence of mine. Um, they're, uh, I'm not sure, really sure what their influences are, but it would probably have similar, similar kind of um, musical um, inspiration. But I really like them. And uh, who else have we seen? I actually haven't seen them live, but we've seen some really good bands. I'm a big Wilco fan, I don't know if you know. Oh, are you really? Yeah, I love Wilco, man. That's really, I wouldn't guess that as, as an influence, that's cool. No, yeah, yeah that's, I, I listen to a ton of Wilco, and I just oh, do you? really love Jeff Tweedy. Really, you know Jay Bennett's is coming out with the, well, I mean, he's dead, but yeah, he's they're going to be releasing an album, which he had nearly completed. Oh, really? Huh. Yeah, for free, too. Wow, oh. that's going to be interesting. Yeah. I think he, he worked on it for quite a while, yeah. Thing. Yeah, it was some years, and I, I think he had pretty much completed it. Yeah. So, huh. like an option he's, to donate to charity. Who's yeah. Ted Barrett? Jay Barrett, he's the, the guitarist. Oh, Jay there. That guy yeah. died, yeah. yeah. Oh, right. He's, he's not anymore. Yeah. No, he was yeah. in a, uh, what's that, that documentary they did? Yeah, um, he's I'm trying to break the band. I'm trying to break the band. Yeah, he said that. Being in that doc, yeah, there was some bad blood. Yeah. It's a shame. At the end there. Yeah. I've, I've heard people that actually know him and said that they, it was a very bad representation of him in the documentary. You know? but, oh, but who knows? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, music kind of speaks for itself. Yeah. yeah I guess. That's yeah.